Ni taarifa mbaya zinatufikia kwa sasa kuhusiana na mauaji ya mwanafunzi wa chuo cha mafunzo ya teknolojia na sayansi pamoja na agrikacha cha JCOAD. Rita Waheni, kumbuka Rita Waheni mwili wake ulipatikana huko umeuawa tarehe 14 mwezi Januari mwaka huu ambapo mwili huu ulipatikana ukiwa hauna kichwa na maafisa wa polisi kutokea katika sehemu tofauti wamekuwa akiendeleza uchunguzi ndipo wasoa kugundua ni nini kilimtendekea Rita Waheni and as of right now the news have imagined that the head ama kichwa chake Rita Waheni kimepata kupatikana kaunti ya Kiambu Detectives on Sunday recovered a human head believed to be that of slain university student Rita Waheni Mwendo. The head was found in a dam in Kemba, Kiambu County, police said. These gave a clue on where the killer may have headed after murdering Waheni on January 13th at an apartment in Roy Sambu. The rest of her remains were found wrapped in a plastic bag and sheet and placed by a, by a dustbin. Police picked the head for preservation and analysis as the probe and hunt on the killer continues we have a human head believed to be that of the slain woman but we will see more after probe said an officer away of the probe also recovered were some of the slain woman's belongings including a mobile phone the motive of the murder is yet to be known so far the detectives handling the matter said they are now following crucial clues on the killer and hope to make an arrest but they handed that the murder seemed to have been committed by a professional killer. Mystery surrounds the move by the killer to clip off her fingernails. A postmortem conducted on the body on Friday showed she had missing fingernails. Now, kulingana na mbaye ni mchunguzi mkuu ama pathologia mkuu kutokea katika eh, idara ya polisi ama kutokea katika jamuri ya Kenya, Johansen Adora lidaya kwamba ni kisa cha kutatanisha ambacho hajawahi kishuhudia tena katika miaka yote ambayo amefanya kazi kama mchunguzi ama e, pathologia wa serikali ya Jamhuri ya Kenya. E, nikipata kumnuku I don't know why but in investigation such nails helps in gathering evidence people fight when dying and DNA evidence can be hidden there. Now, Odwara however said that there were remnants of some fingernails and that samples were taken for further analysis to help police in their investigation. The autopsy confirmed that the body was dismembered in while Kijochake na Migu, they were cut from the trunk. Now, it seems that this story continues to unfold day in day out. But the truth of the matter is, kama Kijocha uyobinti kimepatikana, now there is hope that at least the perpetrator in the in the whole case will be brought to book tutaendelea kukupasha na kukujuza kuhusiana na kisa hiki kadri dakika na masaa yanavyozidi kwenda tuungane katika video zetu zijazo in fm show ke